we'd found ourselves in the small town of Sunset. Would you be interested in doing a story with us today? And in the shadow of the water tower, we were told the story not just of one person. I'm having a bad hair day and I'm sitting here. Yeah. Look oh. at you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a good hair day. <laughs> but an entire community. Well, if you haven't that. discovered Sunset yet, uh, you're really going to be excited. We, uh, we began with the thrift shop. That thrift shop was the first seed, a seed that eventually would grow into a unique cultural district. We were then designated a cultural district by the state. Now, it has many benefits, which mean... For us, local art can be sold at a reduced tax rate. Inspiring a group of local business owners to start highlighting the various artists living in that area. And what I first did was reached out to all the sunset artists, which we've got an abundance of. Some artists, even a little closer to home. I've even turned my husband into an artist. He does folk art with glass um, because he likes to hang around with me. And I told him he had to find something to do. Couldn't just, couldn't just pace the floor. All while getting a chance to showcase their own work at the same time. And I started doing mosaic work. I started doing mosaic portraits. And um, our sister uh, was a mosaic, or still is a, a, a fuse glass artist. And she told me I should buy a kiln. I did, and I loved the medium. It's very free. I do the furniture. Me and my husband uh, and my mom helps out. So we have really great pieces that we've found and just kind of made them pretty. I think we knew very early on that in order to get people to exit off of that interstate, we had to work together. This collection of entrepreneurs and artists have big plans for the town. We just keep creating events to bring people in uh, to show them what we have in Sunset and promote our community. And they seem to have been brought together, almost as if it was by fate. Claude and I knew each other. Yes. Sonia's the newbie. Yes, I'm the newbie, yes. yeah. but I fit right in. Yeah, and yes, she, she camps with and, us, and, and, and she kayaks with us, and, yes. and does the bonfire scene. So yes. this is where we work together. A group that's more than just business owners, and a group that has a mutual love of art, and a love of sunset. It promotes our culture. It promotes who we are. Just the creativity yeah. and being able to support that creativity. Most artists are struggling and trying to get their work out there. And it's not that easy. It's a passion. I have to show up. Uh, I'm open four days a week, but often I'm there six days a week. Which means that the town is certainly in great hands. You really notice it's a lot of women that own businesses here in Sunset. Mm -hmm. So before we left, they sent us off to Acadia Parish. In Sunset, I'm Daniel Phillips, KTC TV3.